The Chapter 7 New Moon Recap is up next. Hi everyone, welcome back to Clever TV's New Moon Chapter by Chapter Breakdown. I'm Dana Ward. Chapter 7, Repetition, starts with Bella wondering why she's letting herself feel the pain and difficulty of missing Edward. She thinks it's really strange how the day felt like repetition at school and the coincidence that it was a year after her first day. Bella realizes that she simply wants to hear Edward's voice again, the perfect, crisp tone, unlike the echoes of his voice in her memory. She thinks that she might need deja vu in order to get back the voice, so she takes off driving towards the Cullens house. She's practically lost as the lawn is completely overgrown and the house looks haunted and creepy. She continues trying to figure out how to hear Edward's voice again but decides to not look into the windows. She suddenly wants to see Jacob since he makes her relax so she heads over to the Black's home. He surprises Bella with a completely put together but not yet fixed motorcycle. Bella proves to Jacob that she wants to chill with him even without him fixing the motorcycles so they plan for a fun activity later in the week like homework two times a week fun times for these two right they cheers with cans of soda with Jacob stating that they'll be responsible two times a week with Bella adding and recklessness every day in between Bella gets home later than planned, Charlie's ordered pizza, and then she checks her email, responding to a long one from Renee. At school on Tuesday, things are all right with Angela and Mike welcoming back Bella, while Jessica's still a little bit upset about the whole Port Angeles incident. At the end of the workday, Mike asks Bella to a movie on Friday night. She asks if it's a date, and he responds that only if she wants it to be. When he says it could be just his friends, she puts him off until the next week, stating that she already has a study session for this Friday. Mike is not super excited anymore. Gotta feel bad for this guy. So the next night, Jacob and Bella study at Charlie's place, and then they watch TV together. He insists that he call her the next day to work on the bikes. And when he does call, he says, we have a date, signaling that the motorcycles are done and running. How exciting for these two. So Bella sees that Jacob has hidden the bikes in the bushes, one with a blue ribbon on the handlebars. How cute. Jacob loads the motorcycles into the truck, and the two take off. Bella notices four guys, only in shorts, standing near a cliff as one of them jumps into the water. Bella starts to freak out while Jacob laughs because he knows they're cliff diving for fun. Jacob talks about the sport, saying that he's done it before, and Bella realizes that it's so reckless, and she makes Jacob promise to take her soon. Bella asks who those four guys are, and he begrudgingly says that they're the La Push gang, describing them as tribe pride and protection sectors of the land. Bella's surprised to hear that these guys make Jacob so incredibly angry and that Sam Yuli is involved. Then Jacob tells a story about running into these guys and Sam. Quill says something that makes Paul really mad and then how Sam totally held back Paul from lashing out. Apparently it was a really strange occurrence. And then Jacob continues to tell stories about Sam Yuli and how it was unfair that the council just let him off from going to college, but how when his sister wanted to pass up a part scholarship to get married, they put up a fight. For some reason, this guy's getting special treatment. So Bella can't just like get over how upset Jacob is about the LaPush gang, so she asks him about it. He says that he's totally creeped out by the way they treat him. He explains that they should have been getting special treatment because his great grandpa was the last real leader of the group, but they've always treated Jacob normally. That is until now. Apparently Sam acts like Jacob is going to join his gang someday soon, and then he mentioned that Embry's been ignoring him and Quill. Something strange happened to Embry. And then all of a sudden, he's joined forces with Sam. And this is the same thing that happened to Paul at an earlier time, and Jacob is legitimately frightened. Bella embraces Jacob and tells him that it'll all be okay. He hugs her back and thanks her. There's a definite connection between these two, whether it's friendship or more than that. And that's the end of chapter seven. So all right, guys, it is pop quiz time. Today's question is, why do you think the tribe power transferred from the Black family to Sam Yuli? 
Now leave a very detailed answer in the comment section below or send us a video response. And also you guys remember that we'll be reviewing all of the chapters in New Moon before the movie's November premiere. And until then, you can get all of your Twilight Saga news and gossip here at Clever TV. I'm Dana Ward. Thanks for watching.